All right, cool. So what's the damn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Valandis back with yet another video. And yes, in this video, we are going to be staying on the theme and doing some more teaching in this video. If you guys have been watching any of my other videos on filmmaking or um, even photography, especially the cinematic stuff, y'all know that I emphasize the importance of using the right focal length for the right reasons and in the right circumstances. Using the correct focal length is very important when trying to convey and tell stories. And I think when you use them with intent, it makes for some better storytelling and some better videos and photos. Now, everybody who's familiar with my early work, y'all know that I only use a 24 millimeter for everything, whether that was landscapes, portraits, product shots, no matter what it was. And that is because your boy was broke and I couldn't afford another lens. And while in this video, I'm going to emphasize how important it is to shoot with different focal lengths. I do know from experience that not everybody can do that. But I do also think it's important to get good with one focal length because that'll create some habits while using other focal lengths when you do start using other focal lengths. For example, when restricted to just one focal length, you have to move around with your camera. You can't just stand in the same place, zoom in and zoom out. You have to move around, you have to find angles, you have to find compositions, you have to find things that will work. And I think that's a very important skill to pick up and make a habit of because just being lazy and standing in one spot and just you know having a zoom lens and being able to go to 70 back to 24 to 35 in the same spot is not always um, a good habit to have and being able to find light and find compositions I think a lot of that comes with just having one focal length because that's all you can do you have to find a way to make things look interesting with just one focal length and when um, all of your work is shot with just one focal length you have to find a way to make it look interesting across the board so but using multiple focal lengths and using the right and correct focal lengths whatever thing you are shooting is going to make your photos or videos more cinematic or make the story that much better or just better engage your audience for example when people shoot product shots they usually use a tighter lens probably 50 millimeters and up the focus is that and nothing else so usually most of the time people will shoot those things with a tighter focal length because it doesn't matter what's around it shooting with a wide angle lens and presenting that to the world or to your audience makes it seem like your audience could be a fly on the wall i like to call these these lenses and wider angle lenses fly on the wall lenses because um when you look at these photos or things that shot with wide angle lenses you feel like you are a part of that or you could have been a fly on the wall watching this happen so usually when people use wide angle lenses in film they're trying to use it to show proximity how far away do you want something to feel for the people who are watching this film i know personally in my experience and and within the things that i do when i use my wide angle lenses like right now i'm using a 16 millimeter lens because i want you guys to see that i'm in a i'm in a room and the things that's in my room know that i'm sitting like at a desk you could probably put all these pieces together in your head when i'm making this video because in my opinion this has a little bit more intimacy than a close-up lens would have because it kind of feels like you guys are in the room with me and for this scene in general i just feel like having a wider angle lens makes um this scene breathe a little bit better in my opinion this is also a very small room so with using a wider angle lens it makes it look a little bit bigger and essentially that is what i'm trying to go for when using this lens in this situation i would never use a tighter angle lens than 16 millimeters honestly when filming these things because to me it just wouldn't feel it just wouldn't give the feeling of what i'm trying to have my audience feel when watching this if that makes sense for example we can take this clip of me cleaning this dirty ass room before i even started filming this and i filmed one of these scenes at 50 millimeters and in this scene you can clearly see that i'm cleaning up the room and you can see that the room is very very dirty and that I'm moving around or whatever the case may be, but that gives it a very, very, very different feeling than when I shot the same scene in the same spot at 24 millimeters and you can see more of the room. You can actually see how dirty the room is. You can see me move around. You can see where things are. And that just gives it a more, again, it makes the room feel a little bit bigger and it also makes it feel like you guys are here with me or like you guys feel like you can be in this same space with me if that makes sense so if we look at some of the examples with some of the things that i've shot like my photos and video and even the video at the beginning of this video i shot a lot of these things twice at different focal lengths to show you guys the difference of feeling of what some of these things would feel like like putting toothpaste on my toothbrush for me putting toothpaste on my toothbrush and having that be a close-up thing kind of gives the audience more of a feeling of 
looking seeing things through my point of view and seeing things through my eyes when you shoot things at a tight angle and also again clearly um aperture plays a part into the feeling and how people are going to take some of the things that you're trying to portray but a lot of the things that i shot during my get ready brushing my teeth in the morning uh little film that i presented at the beginning of this video was shot with a tighter lens and a, at a tighter angle because i wanted people to see things and feel things from my angle and although i said that um the wider lens was a little bit more intimate i think this feels intimate in a different way it definitely feels like you're still watching me through my eyes but when i'm being filmed it feels like you're you're watching me from farther away and you're kind of like looking through a telescope or binoculars or whatever people be using when they go out to look at things from far away let's take the scene from this film i made a couple years ago called no choice so this is a scene in which two people are about to do a heist and i filmed this with a wider angle lens because i feel like wider angle lenses give a feeling of a little bit more um uncertainty and you don't necessarily know what's gonna happen. I wanted people to feel kind of hype on this. I definitely wanted people to feel like they were also, again, there. And I also wanted people to feel like um, they can see what's going on. They can clearly see that people are jumping into a backyard. They're walking through two cars. And um, if, if this was just focused on their faces, you would have no idea where they were or exactly what was going on exactly you would know that they would go, was gonna rob somebody because they're clearly wearing masks and then you have close-ups of the guns and stuff maybe but i think having this shot at a wider angle um gives again some more feeling of that proximity that i was talking about at the beginning of this video but that only works if a wide angle lens is close to the subject because if a wide angle lens is far away from the subject then things are just going to feel very wide open and not too interactive at all you're going to feel like you're watching this from the other side of the world. For example, if I was to keep the camera right here, but I was filming back here, it'd be a lot different. It would feel, it would feel a lot different. If I was filming back here, yeah. If I was filming back there, I would probably use a tighter lens because that would probably make more sense to do. If anybody's familiar with the movie Revenant, they shot that movie very, on a very wide lens. I think 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter not necessarily short but shooting that wide and like being so close to the subject as presented as i already stated earlier within this video um leonardo DiCaprio went through a lot and i mean a lot of things in that video in that movie film whatever you want to call it but he went through a lot of things in that film a lot of those things were very uncomfortable to watch but i think that was supposed to be the feeling that you were supposed to have while watching these things because you almost feel like you're there with him because in my opinion i feel like when people use very like telephoto lenses but you clearly have to be further away to use the telephoto lenses that doesn't have the same intimacy and like i guess feel as using a wider angle lens closer to your subject i think after a while you kind of just get used and you kind of figure it out and you kind of just like realize what you want and realize what you want your audience to feel so you pick the focal lengths of which you're going to use for certain things but there's so many other things that go into making a great film or taking great photos outside of just like having the perfect lens but i think starting with the perfect lens well not the perfect lens but the best lens in 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 the case of what you're filming or shooting is always gonna start you off it's always gonna start you off either up here or down here if you start off with the wrong lens it's gonna be hard to come back there's been many a times where i've went out to shoot and i'm shooting and i'm trying to find compositions and i just can't find something that looks right that i'm going for in my head and then i realize that i'm just shooting with the wrong focal length and sometimes i get out there and i change focal lengths multiple times because i'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best and what's going to fit for what i'm trying to shoot and what i want you guys to feel i do think though that naturally and over time you kind of just get used and familiar with focal lengths and you know what you want to use before you even use them a lot of the times when i'm trying to convey like a very for example the video of me crying that i used in my last video i shot that very very close up of just my eyes because one eyes is all you need for emotion but i shot that very 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 close up because i wanted everybody well the audience that saw it to 
understand that this was a very emotional moment and just having that real like really tight close up i feel like conveyed that the most instead of shooting it very wide where i don't feel like you would have gotten the same type of effect from that clip but also again there's a lot more that goes into you know having great photos or making great videos outside of focal lengths i do think storytelling and um, setting your camera up and the camera movements and everything that you uh, want out of your video or photos is going to be important also i would like to say and y'all know this about me already but one thing that i do a lot is break the rules like i said portraits aren't historically shot on wider lenses me i shoot portraits on wider lenses all the time it is very 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 important to understand rules and where things come from and why things are the way they are or why people do the things that they do but i also think it's important to break those modes and do things out of the box and do things a little bit differently because you probably will be surprised at what you will create when you do that but anyway there's but anyway there's so many lenses out there that do so many different things like this lens right here for example is a uh what is this is this lens is a 50 millimeter seven artisan cinema lens this lens does not have autofocus it's only manual focus it has a different look than say this lens that i'm shooting with which is a sony g master 16 to 35 and then my other sony lenses if i was to put a leica lens on here it would look different there's some lenses that have flares and create flares there's some lenses that have crazy vignetting um i think you just have to go out and try a bunch of lenses to just understand um what they do when they work and when they don't and then just go out there and have fun and experiment and do something you'll never understand what you want what other people want what you want to see or what other people want to see until you get out there and you go and do something and create something yourself i can sit here and tell you that the best lens to shoot with portraits is a 35 millimeter lens because that's what i use but for everybody that may not be the case again my opinions are my opinions i do advise everybody to get out there and do their own research and do their own things and honestly just have fun and like i always say go do some shit because that's essentially what all of these videos are about and that's what i'm about just going out there and doing some shit but anyway man i hope you guys got something out of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope everybody's having a blessed beautiful wonderful day i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna go do some shit i hope you guys uh go out and do the same if you're not subscribed to the video please do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do but again let's get up out of here bro and let's go do some shit you know the vibes man let's get it